What's going on guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me once again for another review. Uh, this time we're gonna get right into it. Uh, tonight I saw Shazam. Uh, this is one of the more obscure DC superheroes. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Shazam uh, is a story of a uh, teenage boy who becomes, uh, you know, without giving anything away, but uh, becomes a superhero uh, and he's granted like near Superman like abilities uh, and an adult Superman-esque body to go with it but inside he's still you know a teenager and he can flip back and forth between adult and uh, teenager. Uh, so Shazam has been one of the more interesting characters in comics uh, just because of the fact that there's this person with all this power. Like I said, he's near uh, Superman level in ability, but yet, you know, he's still just a kid. Uh, so that's, you know, the basic uh, plot, you know, of his backstory. Uh, now I will say with this movie, uh, this is uh, a bit of DC's attempt to rebrand itself. Uh, when I walked into this movie, uh, just going from the trailers, one of the things that I was uh, kind of nervous about was I thought that it was going to be too campy and too cheesy. Uh, so to give you guys a little backstory, for those of you who don't know, uh, obviously, so Marvel has this big cinematic universe uh, where they've been incorporating all their characters and it's been really successful. They've made a lot of money and the films are mostly positively reviewed. Uh, and on DC side of the ball, which are, you know, Marvel in the comic world, Marvel's big rivals, uh, they haven't done as well. Uh, and one of the big criticisms that they got uh, with the DC movies, we're talking Superman, Batman, you know, Batman versus Superman, the Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman movie, Aquaman movie, uh, but one of the big criticisms they got was that they felt that their films were too aggressive uh, too, and they took themselves too seriously. Uh, Marvel films, they stayed true to their core and they never forgot, you know, hey, you know, we're, we're going to make this so that, you know, adults will want to come and see this, you know, adult comic book fans. But we still understand and we still recognize that ultimately, you know, superheroes are for kids, you know, that's... That's, <coughs> excuse me, uh, but children read comics, uh, adults too, but, uh, you know, these are superheroes are what kids look up to. And so to that end, they always made sure to have humor in their movies uh, and, like I said, not take themselves too seriously. Marvel did a great job with that. Whereas in DC, you know, it was kind of like the no fun universe. This is aggressive. This is adult subject matter. Uh, and they were really getting some negative comments about this to the extent that they ended up rewriting some of their films uh, to kind of lighten the tone. You know, you're looking at some of Marvel's most positively reviewed and uh, highest grossing movies uh, like Guardian of the Galaxy, Thor Ragnarok, uh, and even Ant-Man 2 uh, where very humorous, you know, didn't take each other, t take themselves seriously still advance the plot uh, and, you know, really enjoyable films, lighthearted, serious, but lighthearted films are really enjoyable. Uh, DC has had a tough go of this. Uh, and so the trailers make it look like uh, they went all the way to fix this. They went all the way on the other extreme. The trailers make it seem like Shazam was going to be a very campy, very cheesy, uh, like I'm talking about going back to uh, Batman and Robin, Chris O'Donnell, uh, George Cooney, Alicia Silverstone. I'm kind of dating myself, but you know, that's the kind of movie I thought it was going to be. And so that was what I was worried about. I'm here to say that it was not that at all. Uh, DC, I think, really did a good job of, like I said, once again, Marvel, for the past 10 years, they've set this template, you know, any one that wants to come after them, Marvel has shown you the winning formula, you know, of how to build a successful franchise 
uh, or a successful universe and then these all these successful franchises within it. Uh, and it seems like DC is, is really starting to finally take that model to heart and do something with it. Uh, like I said, I thought I really enjoyed Wonder Woman. Uh, I still think that's uh, DC's one of their best films to date. And then uh, Aquaman, uh, not a perfect film, but very entertaining. Like I said, once again, I think it's a, it was a good step going forward. And then this, I think, is another strong foot for DC. Uh, I think they've really started to hit their stride and they're really starting to find the tone that they want to have for the DC Universe going forward. Because uh, it, it seemed like they had a tone, you know, with the Superman movies, uh, with, I mean, with the Super, yeah, both the Superman movies and then Batman versus Superman and then the uh, Justice League. They seemed like they had a tone, they got criticized for their tone, they tried to change the tone. And like in the case of Suicide Squad, it was bad, like it, it, it was rushed, it was mixed, uh, uh, and you know, just kind of jumbled all over the place. And now it seems like with this recent wave of films that they had, that they really starting to say, okay, these are the type of movies that we want to make. This is the direction that we want to go to. And so I am now, I'd say more than any time before, uh, excited about DC movies going forward. You know, I'm excited to see, you know, what's going to be next. I'm excited to see the new Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman movie. Uh, this Shazam film sets up other films. Uh, you know, I, I'm excited to see what's going, you know, what they're going to do coming forward. Uh, that said, like I said, this wasn't a perfect movie. Uh, there were uh, times when uh, I'd say probably uh, one of the biggest complaints I have about this and then several other films in DC's franchise is that uh, their heroes are, are all kind of, the, the, the fight scenes don't really have the kind of impact that they do in Marvel. So in Marvel you've got, you know, a lot of different tiers of hero. So you've got people like, you know, Scarlett Johansson's character. Uh, Black Widow and you've got Hawkeye and then you've got people that are a little stronger, you know, like Captain America and You know Bucky Winter Soldier and then you know, you've got people uh, Black Panther Spider-Man and then you even got Falcon uh, and then you know, you've got heavy hitters like then you've got Hawk and Thor and Iron Man uh, So, you know, it's a really good blend and you know what you see these different types of people taking on other types of people. Uh, when you see the different fights, you know, there, there's, there's just a different sense of uh, urgency and there's a, a, a different sense of tension. So, you know, when Captain America get hit, gets hit a certain way or, you know, Hawkeye gets hit a certain way or, you know, a ball is, or something is coming at him, you know, you know that he can't survive, you know, the same hits that the Hulk can, or, you know, he can't take a hit like Thor can take a hit. You know, so there's that, that level of worry, you know, that level of suspense that'll happen. Uh, DC, one of the problems that I had with the Justice League movie was that when they were fighting Steppenwolf, mild spoilers, uh, you know, if you haven't seen that movie, uh, but as they're fighting Steppenwolf, you've got Superman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman, and, you know, they're all pretty much invulnerable. And so, you know, they're swinging and, and smashing it out. And, you know, they're, they're not like just having their way with Seven Wolf, but you're never worried for their safety because no matter what blows they take, they're fine. You know, you're never worried, oh, you know, Wonder Woman never looks hurt, Aquaman never looks hurt, Superman definitely never looks hurt, even despite the fact that, you know, he died in the last film. Uh, and so, and I think they, they've kind of done that same thing here too. Uh, they have found, you know, a bit of a way to uh, add some suspense to it, just in the fact that, you know, Shazam goes from being a kid to being a hero and, you know, he can transform back and forth. So obviously he can be in danger when he's in his child body. But, you know, as Shazam, like I said, once again, they've added someone who, now you've got Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Shazam. These are all very, very powerful figures, and it's really hard to, you know,
know, see a scene in which you're really scared that something's going to hurt them. Uh, so that's something that I think DC is going to have to figure out, you know, going forward, you know, how are they going to add, you know, some bit of tension, you know, into the, into the midst. Because uh, right now they've only got, you know, Batman where you can, you, he understandably, he's just a man, you know, but, you know, who's ever worried about Batman, you know, come on. <laughs> but anyway, uh. This is a film that is very highly positively rated on Rotten Tomatoes. It's got a 93% score right now. Uh, no audience score yet. Uh, there's still, like I said, it just, this is Thursday. It just came out today. Uh, but uh, definitely recommend this movie. If you're a fan of comic book movies, if you're a fan of superhero movies, uh, if you just like action films, if you like comedy films, like I said, this is very humorous film, uh, a lot of action in it. And uh, especially if you're a DC fan, I'd say this will 100% uh, give you hope going forward. Uh, you know, that DC can competently make films, you know, that aren't just uh, <laughs> the Batman franchise <clears throat> uh, that Christopher Nolan helmed. Uh, but it, it will definitely give you, you know, hope that yes, they can make films and they can do so competently and they can make them exciting. Uh, and make you want to go see it in theaters. All right, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, that's my review. Uh, I'm gonna have another movie uh, coming up pretty soon. Uh, I'm gonna be seeing Pet Cemetery. That should be the next review you guys see. Uh, so if you like horror, be sure to check that one out. Once again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and have a great weekend, guys. Thank you.